morning, two weeks after the uh, last chop. A bit nervous after the first week because I didn't see it be much growth. Um, but certainly after week two, as they tend to, they start waking up and growing again. Just doing a feed on this bed, but I've emptied the tank, so I just need to wait for it to fill up before I can do this last bed, which is the uh, Mary's Jamanda. You can see they're uh, fluffing up a treat now. There's the odd break where it would have been um, a small break when I chopped it so it didn't get chopped that's got a bud in it so I can just take those back um, and if I need to increase the numbers of stems and I'll, I'll just nip them out or uh, take them out but generally they're, they're away this is the um, wind uh, wind home it's a habit dying again they, they look a bit poor uh, to start they're always a bit thin when they first break away after a heavy hit but they're uh, thickening up now and um, the large plant there is one that I try to do on a single but I've already had to knock back some of the side breaks so it looks a big plant but it's going to be messed about with where the others uh, should come through without messing about too much um, same applies here this candy might make it this is a on a single a younger plant um, just about got the seven breaks all the others I've got plenty I'll be going through probably these and the challenges um, today and just getting them down to near flowering numbers. So I'll probably take these down at eight, following down to seven after. If we spare for the bugs or an accident. And I'll take the um, challenger here down to um, fives. That one I already have. Um, and then I'll have the shoot off. Generally I'll either take the shoot off that isn't going to bud in time or the shoot that buds before time or if it's uh, been damaged or just doesn't look right so I'll get on them and I might just put the first bit of string round not that they're going to hold much up because they're only just getting out the sort of 7 eight inches of straw but um, it's just something to do and I'll just poke the shoots in if they don't want to grow within the strings as I go which is quicker than uh, trying to start again and that's the um, oak wood Again, they're just starting to produce some shoots um, it buds quite early so not too worried about that um, but they're, they're waking up at last um, we've got about two weeks before I want to really see a bud beginning of August um, very beginning of August is when I'll start securing buds for bank holiday weekend hopefully there'll be a few but not too many Friday 2nd of um, August morning um, probably been about two weeks since we last saw anything um, and the plants are sort of motoring away now probably about a week um, behind where I wanted to be um, my fault still <laughs> chopping them down the same time as last year when I didn't want to flower at Pink Holiday last year um, I started taking buds Wednesday obviously because I get a full day at it on Wednesday um, but I have been taking some pretty small buds, so I've been in there with my fingertips and buds like this sitting in there have been taken so 25 days um, to Essex so they should be fine so this is uh, the Mary's and there's a few plants up and down and obviously plants like this I've secured quite a few buds on um, probably about eight, 7 or 8 on that plant plants like that none um, but hopefully in another week 10 days time then there'll be buds available on those but mostly um, I've, I've had a few on all so I've secured about a about hundred buds um, through the 40 Marys um, and it'll be soon time to put the, the second tie on them um, the habits probably one of the later ones again I did manage to uh, nick out a few buds as you can see over there um, but I'm hoping week time there'll be uh, plenty more to take because when you look at tips like that you know they're in there I just haven't dug in there far enough um, but could have done with a few more of that really for the bank holiday that's a happy dying. The um, white candy, yep, yeah, I was happy with that. 
got plenty, sort of it's probably as big as they get. Um, and there's others that are smaller. Some of the plants are up and down. Um, I should probably put the spade under some of them. These are all all right. And you've got ones like that, which really don't look uh, particularly healthy, so I'll probably knock him out. And the others are fine. There's another one there. There's another one down there. Possibly one there. So I think there's about four or five out there. There's 41 in here. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to propagate from them. If they don't sort themselves out soon, I shall be uh, digging them out. There's no point in hanging around. Uh, Challenger looks nice and short, um, which it is. But um, I, again, I did manage to just about winkle out 15 buds out of these. Um, and they're generally a good, I think they're a fairly good strength. They're doing all right. The buds are hopefully come. Um, there's the old ball plant, like that one, that uh, I think I must have just done on a single stop. And it, it's a bit bigger than, than all the rest. In fact, I had to take a, a wing bud on that, or not a wing bud, a side shoot. But the others are budded and in. <laughs> so I wrote on the post the buds that I took. So we've got Challenger 16 white. Candy 50, Apidine 20, Merge Demand 100, Oakwood Goldcrest only 12, Susan Marsden 60, Provin Christabel 30, Gertler 80 ish plus, no Dave's Choice, and uh, Rycroft Misty 32. I took them out this morning. So hopefully they're the ones that will be getting me towards um, Essex on the weekend. There's the Oakwood again. Just about a week behind where I've got one at the Beef Bank Holiday. But if we look in there, there is buds forming inside those tips, which um, I'm sure I'll be able to get to in a week or so's time. So generally, I feel like I'm on top of things. I'm just starting to think about putting the second tyres on. I've got a week of uh, disbudding and, and feeding, spraying, watering, tying etc. Everything's down to numbers and I've gone through again and just checked those numbers and made sure we haven't had any surprise growths. Um, but fairly well on top of it. We'll go over to the other plot. Just before we go over to the uh, other plot, um, when we say disbudding, securing, securing a stem and timing, bearing in mind it is now the, the 2nd of August. Um, this happens to be a plant, the Challenger, and I've found a bud in there. Um, this is a sort of size, and maybe a tiny bit bigger, um, that, that we're securing, or I'm securing. Um, if we can get in there without knocking anything off. So that's the wing bud gone. So it's a bit delicate at that point. If you think you can't do it without knocking it off, don't do it. So wing bud's gone. Always start at the top of the plant um, because if you don't and you do happen to be a bit clumsy and take the um, main bud out of the centre you can always use one of the wing buds. If you start from the bottom up and you take the uh, top bud off um, you've got nowhere to go. You've just got a dead stem. So we're just hooking out all these. If we can get in there and we're going all the way down And the principle is, I mean, a large might take a bit longer, but I tend not to find that with, with Challenger. 25 days, possibly it's a large 26, on average, um, that bud. And maybe we'll uh, try and remember to revisit this on the 28th um, of August. Should be um, in full flower. So we don't want to be going out taking buds the size of a thumb now this time of the year if you want them for, um, for bank holiday if you chose before then fine but that's generally what we're saying as timing it's a pea-sized bud or thereabouts um, secured there's no other shoots on that stem and that should be in flower for us in the southeast 
normally about 25 to 26 days time obviously I've done this two days ago um, so those ones that I've took then hopefully should make it to, to the bank holiday um, and I should probably leave you know ones like that that are still in there for future um, I do count as, as a secure um, if I was looking at a sea of buds I'd, I'd have probably have a plan where I divide them over takes um, but for instance I wouldn't want to go for a bed of plants secure them all now and go right I've got 250 stems I've just secured 200 of them because it only is going to leave me 50 potential buds for a further show so I tend to divide it into three or four and look to take those every five days throughout the growing or the, the bud taking period which is obviously from now um, for the next 20 days and that should give me pretty much three weeks worth of flower um, obviously for, for takes that you think are going to make it to the national um, then you might want to just lift the numbers up a bit more and have them slightly less at the beginning my plants seem to have naturally done that for me by not giving me very many buds um, to choose from so I just took everything I can um, which is no bad thing because it means that I haven't had to spend hours knocking back and, and trying to hold them off just a few sweaty days trying to think whether there will be buds or not but uh, that's when we talk about knocking back we've seen that, I've filmed that before but securing buds, side shooting, disbudding it's all the same term for the same thing but timing um, is crucial so if we're doing it from now on you should be in show season so we're over the other side um, the other plot you can just about see the frame over there and then we've got this one over here and um, this is Mars and Susan probably about the best batch of plants we've got um, just consistent no issues um, good timing you can see we've got small buds that's probably the biggest bud but not many like that and they're all just about if we look in there that's been secured um, but they're all there or thereabouts so they're just going to naturally see me through I mean, you've got about 15, 16 shoots to the plant and 26 plants, then uh, there should be plenty of flower coming from that. But they're, they're looking good for the variety, I feel. Um, Dave's Choice has been a bit up and down, um, but generally all right, just not budded up yet. There's a few just forming in there. Hopefully I'll have them when it comes to Wisley and there's a few smaller plants. There's a couple that really didn't enjoy the chop. I think I probably hit them too hard um, when I did. So uh, lost them too, but it, it's it's not a, not a banger. Likewise with a Christabel. Plants are, which is this bed, up and down, but I've took about 30 odd buds out of it. Um, and most of the plants are, are not far off it. They're just about getting there. This is a random misty um, tuba that shooted out the ground early in the year and as it happened to be at the end of the misty bed I just left it there it's been quite right seeing the odd flower um, but misty's looking pretty tidy for me that's probably a bit small but it is on a plant with so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 flowers of stems on the plant um, Looking at the plants themselves, I've took them down to um, sevens this year. Um, made a mistake of ten last year, and they were just too small. The plants weren't the strongest, although they are beefing up now. Um, so I've gone down to seven. And again, we've took about thirty odd buds, which isn't as many as I'd like, um, considering there's fifty-two plants. But if you look at it the other way, fifty-two seven up compared to 26, 15, 16 up. There's about as many flowers in these two beds as there is one of the uh, Mars and Susan. So yeah, that's a pretty good value for money variety if we could all have miniatures and we can grow 14 to 16 up. Um, we'll probably we'll be able to grow a few less plants. And then if we've got the Gertler, I've purposely tried, and I think I've managed to, um, not have such a bushy plant this year. Last year there was a lovely thick hedge until the buds come and they was everywhere and I just couldn't get on top of them. 
Um, the flowers are small and I had issues with frip and capsid and all sorts um, in that heat wave that we had. Um, no sign, touch wood, uh, of, of either of those as yet. Um, and I've been spraying with uh, desis um, and a couple of other bits just to try and make sure that nothing really does turn up. But again, we've just secured the first buds on those. There's about 80 over the, the 52 plants, so there's plenty more to come because the rest aren't all uh, far away. You know, look at growth like that. There is a little bud in there. In fact, I've managed to disbud that one. Um, the same there, it's just sitting inside. So timing-wise, not far off. Just could have done with. Uh, it's a, a week earlier and then I could have knocked some of the early buds back and then would have been in the main flush starting from now to be able to choose how many I wanted rather than just secure everything I can lay my fingers on that's the girdler two bits of those again one or two plants where I did chop them down hard to try and reduce how many uh, breaks come but looking at it that's probably somewhere around about at 25 breaks or so um, and I'm just budding three pairs of leaves down so I'll either work out or I'll end up with uh, undersized miniature girdler but we sort of tend to in this truck game overreact to uh, previous problems hopefully I haven't done that um, this year but again nice and green I've been getting their weekly feeds this week they got a feed of um, Miracle Grow and Phosphogen mixed together, so just increasing the potash. And probably from uh, next week on, it'll be potash only, be it um, grocery or phosphogen or tomato food, or a combination of all the above. So, we made some uh, secured stems. There's no going back now. Any buds that pretty much come out from now onwards that are small, pea sized, or, or smaller are going to come out sometime during the show season. Um, problem we have got here is we've got Midlands and Essex on the, the bank holiday weekend, whereas if you fancy it on the Monday. Um, and then it's a long old haul to, to the Sunday, so nearly a week of flower that's gonna potentially come out and have nowhere to go. So anyone knows of a reasonable flower show midweek after the bank holiday? There's a few of us that would probably like to go there. Um, but. We don't want to waste too much, so I'll probably hold fire on buds until sort of um, Wednesday next week. Um, and if there's any sort of ones in between that I don't think I might even knock them back, but um, just don't want too much flour coming out after this. I don't know if I'm gonna have too much choice about that. There's plenty to come, and maybe can stretch on into the season a bit. Good luck, see you around.